1 John chapter 4, verse 1. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of the Most High, because many false prophets are going out into the world. First and foremost, I'm give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Kodash, the bonds of the apostles, the bishop of Elders of Great Millstone, and peace and salutation to the elect, which starts with 144,000, which are the prophets of the Lord, and also you men, women, and children who believe on Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, through the words of the prophets, I say salutations and salute. First and foremost, the name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. The name of the only begotten Son, our Lord, King, and Savior, Shehawah Shai. And they're the power of the Israelites. And today they will be the so-called Negro, so-called Latino, so-called Native Americans. And also you speckle bird Israelites, you Israelite foreigners who will look like the other nations. But your spirit and blood like the of the forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. This Bible is for you. And with that being said, I want to get into a lesson the Lord will is edifying, all right? And um, I'm going to go... Uh, I'm going to get into a little lesson, and I'm thinking I'm going to call it, Doctrine is Very Important. Doctrine is very important, all right, because many false prophets are going out into the world, man, and you have those who have the covering of Israel upon them, but yet they're spewing madness out of their mouth, okay? They're teaching things that they should not. They're teaching perverse things, profane things, right? And um, we have to charge the spirits, man. All right. Well, in the main prophecies, you still have men in these days who don't understand what the MOTB is. And that's a major prophecy because that MOTB is going to shake up the world. That's going to be a major reality check. OK, because you cannot repent from taking the MOTB. And it's a physical thing. It's a physical mark. OK, and it's a judgment written for those who take it. All right. But you have men out here who have claimed to be awakened and sent by the Most High, but yet they're speaking things that's not sound doctrine, right? But the Most High said this. This is what John said, right? John 3 and 34. For he whom the Most High have sent speak of the words of the Most High. For the Most High giveth not the Spirit by measure unto him. And this all starts with our Lord, Yahweh Shai. Okay, because Yahweh sent out Yahweh Shai into the world. Right? But as it is written, let's get this in John 17. Okay, John 17. And um, 8. This is read our Lord, Yahweh Shai speaking, right? It say, for I have given unto them, who is the them? His disciples. All right. For I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me. See, and they have received them and have known surely that I came out from thee and they have believed that thou did send me. For the end of the day, the same words that was given to Yahweh Shai, he's given the words unto his followers, his disciples, man. The men of the Lord. The Lord has revealed his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. So those who are of the spirit of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, you're going to speak the words of truth, man, directly and correctly. You're not going to speak your own doctrine. Okay? You're going to speak 100% truth according to the scriptures. Okay? Because Yahweh Shai has revealed everything unto the, his friends. It's St. John 15. And 15, it's in red also, right? Henceforth, I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. But I have called you friends for all things that I have heard of my father, I have made known unto you. Look at this word known. Okay? The word known is norizo, norizo, to make known to become known, to know, to gain knowledge of, have thorough, have thorough knowledge of. <laughs> okay? The men of the Lord in this time, who are the prophets coming back of old, they have thorough knowledge of the scriptures, man. 100% truth. Okay? Strong definition is say to make known, 
to know, certify, declare, make known, give to understand, do to wit. Okay? See this root word say. To learn to know, come to know, get a knowledge or perceive. Okay? And the elect are very acquainted with this, this doctrine, man, because it was given them. Okay? So those who are of the spirit of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, they're going to speak the correct doctrine, man. Out of their bellies going to flow rivers of living water. Okay? Doctrine matters, man. Just because you're an Israelite, all right, and you might know the name of the Lord, right, which is the Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh, his son named Yahweh Shai, but you're coming with a different doctrine. The scriptures say, receive not that man into your house, man. And we're going to get that scripture. Okay, when the things, when the uh, the the, uh, the attributes or qualities of, that the elect would have, that the spirit of discernment, you know, the spirit of discernment, man. Yeah, a guy might salute you in the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. He might say Shalom, but then he teach you that you can have sex on the Sabbath. You got Israelites that teach that the full moon is the new moon. You got Israelites that teach that all nations can make it. You got Israelites that proclaim and say, yeah, we know the name Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, but they don't push it. They push these other names. Especially those who claim to know what the MOTB is, but then they tell you it's sin in all its forms. These men are not teaching sound doctrine, man. And that's one of the main things to know who's serving the Lord and who's not. Okay, what they're saying out of their mouth, man. You can tell if the tree has been dressed. Okay, and a lot of these camps are spewing out rotten fruit and you can't eat from it, man. Eating rotten fruit, you're going to get sick and ultimately you're going to die. All right. Say John 7 38. It says, he that believeth on me, talking about Yahweh Shai. It all starts with our Lord Yahweh Shai, man. Remember, the Heavenly Father cut us off because of our iniquity. But through the blood of Yahweh Shai, from his sacrifice, <clears throat> we've been free from the bondage of sin. The bondage of the law, man. We've been made free. And now we, we live in grace through the Spirit and faith to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right? We live according to the Spirit, not according to the flesh. It says, He that believeth on me, as the Scripture have said, <clears throat> out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. So those who Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai has sent out, they're going to speak the truth, man. Okay? And once again, doctrine matters, man. That's why we got to try the spirit by the spirit, man. You don't just receive every man because he might know the salute or he might know that he Israel, man. Because every man ain't your brother. If you teach teaching a false doctrine or you're saying the name of the Lord don't matter or any false way, hey, you ain't my brother, man. You a deceiver. Okay? And guess what? The true men of the Lord, they're going to rebuke you, man. Because we're not going to tolerate that type of behavior, man. Okay? That's what this ministry is about. Correction, man. Now, whether you receive the correction or not, guess what? The blood is wiped off our hands. You know? It says 2 Timothy 4 and 2. It says, preach the word, be instant in season, out of season. And you got a lot of guys that take breaks. A man that only goes out on the highways and byways probably once a month, that ain't no profit, man. A man that makes a video every three to four weeks, that, that man ain't no profit, man. All right? Taking layoffs, vacations, that man is not, a, hey, he's not uh, uh, giving diligence to make his calling election sure, man. All right? The Lord said, he has, as it is written in Isaiah, he said, Watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, who shall never hold their peace. And we read the story of Jeremiah. Jeremiah was being reproached for the word of the Lord. And he tried, he tried to stop talking about the Lord because it was a reproach unto him. But he said it was a fire that burned in him that he couldn't stop. He couldn't stop talking about the Lord, man. He couldn't do nothing but prophesy. You see? When the Spirit of the Lord is on you, man, hey, you're going to speak. You know? It's been days I done said 
you know, I'm just going to camp. I ain't going to speak today. I'm going to just fall in the back. And guess what? I end up teaching, man. And I said that a few times before, you know, in this ministry. And I just stopped saying it, man. I said, I ain't going to say shit. I'm just, whatever the spirit need me to do, I'm going to do. You know, it's times you be like, nah, I'm just fall back. And as soon as you say that, you, you be the main speaking, man. Point is, man, you're going to do whatever the spirit tells you to do, man, and moves you to do. Because this ain't our show. All right? When they say, preach the word, be instant in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, see? Exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Okay? Verse 3. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. And we live in that time, man. Okay? Look at this word, doctrine. Slide men straight away from the doctrine. Men that have been once amongst even great millstone. They straight away from the doctrine. This is the word for doctrine. It's didascalia. It's a teaching instruction. That which is taught doctrine precepts. All right? Just see what this um, root said. Okay? The teachings. Okay? Men are straight away from things that hey, the scripture said, uh, be assured. Uh, uh, in fact, let me, let me get that scripture. I was going to butcher it. Let me grab it. The white Yahweh Shemiah is 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 14. And part of, and part of um, continuing in the word, right, and, and following Yahweh Shai is following the doctrine correctly. If you're teaching a different doctrine, you're not following the Lord anymore. You done went a different way. You understand? That's why Yahweh Shai said, if you continue in my word, then you are my disciples indeed. Continuing in that word is continuing in the truth, teaching the word the way it was given. Now, you might have certain tweaks in here and there, right? Correction, whatever the, may, the case may be, but you continue in truth, man, because as it's written, it said, there is no lie of the truth, man. All right? 2 Timothy 3 and 14, it says, but continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and has been assured of. Knowing of whom thou hast learned them. And I know who I learned from, man. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, I learned from the apostles, the bishop and elders, and brothers on down, man. And still learning to this day. Through the spirit of the Lord. The Lord will I endure. And also for you out, you hopeful elect out there who have that same hope as I have, man. We all hoping to endure. We must continue in the things that we've been taught and have been assured of, man. Okay, not switching up the doctrine, man. Okay, not being ashamed of it because people try to uh, say, uh, it's a great doctrine. No, we just tell you what the scriptures say, man, in truth. All right? But it says, 2 Timothy 4 and 3, for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, sound teachings, right? But after their own lust, their own desires, shall they heed to themselves teachers having itching ears. Look at this word, itching. All right. The word for itching is neat, though. It's saying to scratch, tickle, make to itch. This is what I wanted right here. Desirous of hearing something pleasant. See? So what you've learned is not pleasant anymore. Now you want to hear some sweet words. You want to hear some smooth things, man. You want to hear things according to your own fucking mind. But the scripture says it's written in Proverbs. It says, lean not to thy own understanding. All right? And we got to take the sweet with the bitter and the bitter with the sweet, man. We need both. All right? It's about the truth, man. Everything's about for truth's sake. It ain't about what's pleasant always to our ears, man. It's about telling the truth. You know? For example, right? I noticed, like, a lot of brothers don't like this. Like, it's been, it been the spirits been coming out, like, uh, a brother had a dream about... Certain brothers that's amongst us might take the MOTB. You know, how we got spies amongst us. 
false brethren amongst us. And nobody wants to think like that, right? Nobody wants to, you know, and this ain't, I ain't saying this so you go in the camp and start looking at your brother sideways and being suspicious, like, oh, what's it? You know, but those things are going to happen. Why? Because for truth's sake, man, the scripture said every brother's not a brother. Right? Now, once again, you come in the truth and you look, you want everybody to be a brother. But over the years, man, I done seen brothers come in and fall out, man. And brothers just turn to straight scoffers, man. Revealing secrets. You know? Talking about you. And you once had this man all in your house. You know? Gave him your last couple of dollars, rides, or whatever the case may have been. Labored with him. That's why the scripture talks about is another uh, a grief unto death when a, a friend is turned to an enemy. But these things were already prophesied to happen. But it's a un the point I'm trying to make is yes, it's an uncomfortable conversation. But for truth's sake, we have to we have to speak about these things, man. Right? Paul told about I have not son to declare unto you the whole gospel. You see. So, yeah, it might not be pleasant talking about it because it makes people uncomfortable. But guess what? It's the truth. And that's the point, man. We speak the truth. Just warn. We, hey, we've been warned. We go out and warn others, man. And that's just the truth of the matter, all right? So, let me get this scripture. All right? Because the, the thing is, we do have spies among us, man. And the scripture says everybody's not a brother. So, once again, doctrine matters, man. To see who the spirit is working with. Once again, everybody just say Shalom just ain't no um, ain't your brother, man. Or your sister. You see? So what they say out their mouth does matter, man. To see if the spirit of Yahweh Shah is within this man. If he talking about uh the MOTB is sending all his forms. And, and you correct him on it, and he don't receive it, and he continues to spew out that madness. He ain't he ain't your brother, man. Because a brother can be sincerely wrong about something, but guess what? If we're wrong about something and someone corrects you, you humble down and, and take that correction, man. Pray the Lord to receive what's been said, right? And you teach the right things, but if you continue to teach the, uh, the same way, a wayward doctrine or, or perverse things, then you're showing yourself that you're not of the Lord, man. Because the elect are going to get this doctrine, man. The elect are going to see eye to eye. All right? But it's Malachi 3 and 18. It says, Then shall ye return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth the Most High and him that serveth him not. So doctrine matters. All right? Your actions matter. Once again, a guy who teaches once every two months, you know, do a video once every couple of months, you know, Taking motherfucking vacations and shit. Hey, man, that man ain't no prophet, man. All right? Teaching false doctrines. Changing up his doctrines. The scriptures say male not with him is given the change. One, one, one week he know the name of the Lord. Yahweh, Yahweh Shai. The next thing you know, he teaching the uh, most high Christ and blessed. Hey, man, that man ain't a man of the Lord, man. All right? And the scriptures that support that. And the elect are going to be able to discern that because they was given the spirit of discernment, man. All right? Let me get this scripture. I'm going to close out. Lord will. Shalaki. The second John. One and ten. Second John 1 and 10, it says, If there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine. See this word doctrine again. Right? It's a different word, right? The doc. Let's see what it say. Strong's G 1322. The Dache. The Dache. The Dache. It's a teaching that which is taught. Doctrine, teaching. All right, instruction. Okay. It say in religious assemblies of the anointed to speak in the way of teaching in distinction from other modes of speaking in public. Doctrine, instruction. Okay, what does real word say? To teach 
instill doctrine into one to teach, to hold discourse with others in order to instruct them, deliver didactic discourses. Right? So it's all about the doctrine, man. Okay? Let's see. In 2 John 1 and 10, it says, There come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, this form of teaching, right, that we have received and been assured of, right? Receive him not into your house, neither bid him God speed. See? I'm going to read that in the NLT. It says, If anyone comes to your meeting and does not teach the truth about Yahweh Shai, don't invite that person into your home or give any kind of encouragement, right? You're supposed to rebuke that type of behavior, man. You know, you're not speaking the truth. Guess what? If hey, because what did Paul say? If I be a, a a pleaser of men, I'm not a servant of Yahweh Shai. See, Paul wasn't with that get along, get along, man. We all just get along. No, if you was going off, hey, Paul was on your ass, man. For the doctrine's sake, okay. If you're a friend of the Lord and you're going off, you're going to appreciate somebody correcting you and putting you back on the right path, man. But if you're a scoffer and a scorner, you're going to hate that person. You see? Verse 11. For he that biddeth him God's speed is partaker of his evil deeds. See? And that's like these unity camps, man. Everybody want to be so unified and Hey, man, brother, let's get together, brother. Let's have a barbecue, man. But this guy teaching one thing. He teaching another thing. He talking about this. He talking about that. That's a, a, a camp of confusion, man. And all of them wicked, man. See? It say, for he that bitter from God's speed is partaker of his evil deeds. I'm, I'm going to read that verse 11 in NLT. It say, anyone who encourages such people becomes a partner in their evil work. Because you're supposed to reprove them, man. All right, matter of fact, it's a scripture that came to say uh, that he may know his shame. Let me get this, and I'll probably close out. Know his shame. Damn. See, I have no company with them. I have no company. I might be, it's like, let me get this. I got to get it. Okay. Yep, the Wadi Habashim Yahweh Shai is 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 and 14. It say, and if any man obey not our word by this epistle, matter of fact, let me get that in the blue letter. I'll probably close out with that. All right. Paul, hey man, Paul wrote these letters for a reason, man. Okay. 2 Thessalonians 3 and 14, and if any man obey not our word by this epistle, I'm going to this word epistle up. Epistole, a letter, epistle, a written message. To write instructions, a letter. Okay? These scriptures, man. And if any man obey not our word by this epistle, note that man, right? What does it mean, note? Let's see this word note in the Greek. Note is the word. Strong's G, 4593, say my Say my To mark, to note, distinguish by marking, to mark a note for oneself. To mark for avoidance. Basically, you take heed of them. You watch them. Right? It's saying, if any man obey not our word by this epistle, note that man and have no company with him, that he may be ashamed. Okay? It's say 15. Yet, count him not as an enemy, but admonish him as a brother. All right? So, at the end of the day, man, Hey, if anybody is not obeying the gospel, not obeying these teachings, and you're doing your own thing, teaching the word how you want to teach it, all right, doing what you want to do. Hey, the scripture said, Paul said, have no company with him, man. That he may know he that he may be ashamed. All right. There's always room for repentance, but guess what? The doors of mercy gonna close soon, man. All 
All right? But at the end of the day, man, doctrine matters, man. All right? Because there's a lot of deceivers out here, man. Especially there, the circumcision. All right? That's why the Lord said, uh, uh, the scripture said, bring not every man to your house. For a deceitful man got many trains. And like a spy, matter of fact, let me get that. I'm going to end it with that. Okay? Hey, we living in serious times, man. And yeah, these 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 um type of lessons sometimes is uncomfortable, but it's the truth, man. And for you new brothers that's coming in, man, it's a joy you find out you're an Israelite, you had that hope, you excited, you like, yeah, man, I knew there was more to life, and you understand what you gotta understand that every brother ain't a brother, man. You know, you gotta stick to one camp. Say stick to the uh the Lord led you to the great millstone. Hey man, that's where the truth is at, man. Alright? And we believe that through faith. Don't just take my word from it, because that's how the apostles taught us. Hey, the things we teach, you go, you search it out, you check it out, man. At the church of Berea. You receive the word without a readiness of mind, but you go back and search to see if those things is so, man. So you may be persuaded in your own mind. That's what it's all about. Each one of us must be persuaded in our own mind, man, that this is the truth. Okay? And yeah, it's an uncomfortable situation. I mean, uh, conversation and, and speech. You know, because you don't want to be in the camp. And once again, I ain't saying this to go, you know, so you can have an evil suspicion of brothers and start overthrowing your judgment and things of that nature. No, it's it's just to understand. So when things come down the pike, man, and things happen, that we won't be offended. That we were told these things that it might happen. That's what the Lord has warned us before. So we can prepare ourselves like, oh, shit. So it won't be like a surprise, a shock, man. That's the point. All right? But Sirach 11 and 29. Bring not every man into thine house, for the deceitful men have many trains. And that's physical and spiritual, man. Like did, we just read in um, 2 John 1 and 10. Receive him not into your house. Hey, we don't keep company with um, unbelievers, man. All right? It said, note that man have no company with him that he may be ashamed. All right? It say, um, 30. Like as a potter is taken and kept in the cage, so is the heart of the proud. And like as a spy, watch if he for thy fall. For he lieth in wait and turn of good into evil. And in things worthy praise will they blame upon thee. So at the end of the day, man, some men come in this truth. They got ulterior motives, man. And you can see that. You got uh, YouTube uh, Israelites. What would be celebrities. They about the money. They about the fame. The women. You know, vain glory. You know. You see these things on display, man. But all these things are written in the scriptures for us, for our ammunition, and to warn us about that these things will happen, man. And more and more, you're starting to see more and more haters of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai teaching false things, man. And claiming that they were sent by Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, but yet, when they start opening their mouth, the doctrine that they're speaking out their mouth is not sound. So they are not of the Lord, man. So doctrine does matter. Doctrine is very important, man. So, Lord, will bless the edifying and exhort and give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash, Shalom, Kwame Asharala, to the elect.